hazardous tales. Once upon a time in France, there was this guy named uh, uh, Lafayette. Lafayette was a 19-year-old aristocrat. And Lafayette's main dream was he wanted to go and fight the British. He wanted to go and fight him with swords and guns and have big battles and adventures and all kinds of crazy stuff. There was only one problem, though. At that time, France and England were at peace. The kings had agreed on a peace. But Britain wasn't totally at peace because they were fighting with this other little country over here, the United States of America. And the king was fighting, well, maybe not the king, but the British soldiers were fighting with these guys. Lafayette thought, you know what? If I can't fight the British with the French, maybe I'll fight the British with the Americans and I can have my adventure over there in America. So Lafayette jumped on a ship and he sailed to America. So Lafayette and his French buddies all show up at Independence Hall in Philadelphia and they're like, we want to fight the British. We hear there's a war, it's 1777, we just got here from France, we want to fight. And Congress is like, uh, Thanks, but no thanks. We don't need you. We've had a few French officers, and they just didn't work out. So thanks for coming, but you guys can go home now. And Lafayette's like, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Take these letters. We didn't want to come all this way for nothing, so he gives them the letters and heads off. These guys look at the letters, and they're like, wait a minute. What did we just do? This kid's like a millionaire. He knows the king of France, and even better, he's an orphan. So here's what we're going to do. We've got a plan. So I think we should make this kid... A major general and they're like are you crazy he's only 19 and they said no no no. listen listen we will dress him up like a general we'll give him a big hat and we'll get him all set up with all the major general stuff and then when it's time for the battle so here's the battle going on right here we'll put a uh, little Lafayette here we'll put him uh, way over uh, uh, oh, over here there, there we go ah uh, so he will not get hurt and then after the battle, he will think he was a major participant. He will go back to France. He will tell the king all about it. The king will be excited. And then he will give us all of his money. They said, you know what? This is a genius plan. As long as he stays out of trouble. But here's the thing. Lafayette did not stay out of trouble. He immediately jumped straight into battle. He didn't stay way back. He was never going to. He was getting in battle after battle, trouble after trouble, non-stop crazy things, fighting with people, having an amazing time. He gets on a boat. He throws up. A lady fights a werewolf. Remember Henry Knox, the guy who loved the cannons? He's in this book. Remember Hamilton? You like that guy? He's in this book. Do you remember how the hangman wanted to know all about Benedict Arnold? Well, guess what? All of the dirt is in this book. So check it out, Lafayette.